First of all, can I thank the regional group for such a comprehensive and forward-looking proposal on the real possibility of developing our offshore renewable energy resources. This proposal is visionary, but down to earth at the same time. It's visionary in that any proposal to develop over 70,000 megawatts of offshore renewable energy, which would not only eliminate our dependence on fossil fuels as a nation, but would allow us to export uh, huge amounts of renewable energy to the EU, is a mega project. But equally, it's down to earth in that we know it's possible, we know it's feasible, and we know it has enormous potential. But we need to put the necessary agencies in place with the remit to deliver a fully coordinated national plan. This will involve R&D, supply chain development and management of the process from initiation to delivery. I know it sounds a bit much, but this could be our Ordnacrusha moment. If we recognise our potential to transform how we develop our renewable energy resources and then act on that recognition. Now, one aspect of this project must be that we has to be community buy-in and real community benefit. And by real community benefit, I don't mean an attempt to buy off communities. I have seen it and I'm still seeing those attempts to basically bribe, and I use that word, bribe communities by promises of short-term gain instead of a continuous stable benefit to local communities. No windfall gains, but a plan-led, not a developer-led model of development. Our offshore wind resources can be to Ireland what oil has been to communities, especially in coastal communities in Norway. We need the state to take the leading role here. Time and time again, I have seen the negative impacts of exclusively private sector, profit-driven models on the building of infrastructure, from homes to onshore wind turbines to broadband. Such a project as this would impact generations to come and must be state-led. Offshore renewable energy must, in my view, be the primary source of our wind energy. There have been so many negative experiences right across the Midlands and now in County Leitrim, two proposals around how uh, wind turbines are positioned for onshore wind generation. Less than two weeks ago, Minister, I raised this issue with Minister Noonan on the siting of two different wind farms uh, on mountain sides and largely in peaty soil in County Leitrim. Minister, we still await the publication of the wind energy guidelines. These guidelines, we are told, will give due regard to local communities and individual families within the vicinity of turbines. Yet the applications for wind farms keep coming and what while we have no guidelines, it's simply the same free-for-all and it's no wonder we get it wrong again and again. Just as we're getting it wrong at Crow Wind Farm near Drum Hare and Doan Manor Hamilton. I stood at the back door of somebody's house looking up at the side of the mountain, less than one kilometre away, where it's proposed to erect a 185 metre monster wind turbine. To give you some context, that's twice the size of the Statue of Liberty. This is how our wind policy is being planned and delivered right now. It alienates and divides communities. This proposal from the regional group is visionary, but has real down-to-earth potential. Thank you, Deputy.